We're going to do a quick video on plug power. That's plug power stock today. And we've got a daily chart up on it with three moving averages, a five day in green, a 20 day in red, and a, a, a 200 day in blue. We're going to take a quick look at this stock and go back a little bit. We'll see you back here down in June of 20. We were hugging the 200 day moving average and we had a nice bull market rally up until about December, it looks like early January, late December of 20, early January of 21. At that point, you can see we had been um, respecting the 20 day moving day average and the uh, we were above the 200 day moving average and then the stock just took off. We had significant gaps here and here and of course leading to a parabolic move and a blow off top. You can see we distributed with, uh, through this $65 range we were distributing from uh, mid of January until about the middle of February and where we began what um, was still uh, a bull market but a, a bear market decline in an official bull market. You can see how beautifully it respected the 20 day moving average. Price came down even the five day moving average was straight so this was a relatively painless short and then you tested the 20 day moving average here in the middle of March and continued down and violated your 200 day moving average. This was in uh, May of 21. When we bounced back up, tested the 200 day moving average and you can see the 200 day moving average was still headed up. And so we went into this sideways uh, movement here from about July 21 to October 21 where the participants were trying to figure out whether this stock was gonna go down further or it was a buy. At some point, we get, saw some buying. We saw a gap here around October 21 and a test of the 200-day moving average here at the end of October. The market did you know, hold the 200-day moving average when it was flat. And you can see we got this initial uh, rally above the 200-day moving average back to about the, almost a 46, just right around 46. But at the end of the day, you can see we started to get some distribution through here right around the $42 range. That distribution started here at the early, right around $40, and then they were heavily distributing the stock at around the $42 range. And you can see that the volatility dramatically increased, not just in its day-by-day uh, -day swing, but in its intraday, the volatility. You can see this bar was much wider than these bars as the market was rallying up. So the stock was clearly distributing here. And so we got what we expected to sell off. And you never know how hard that sell is going to be, but this one turned out to be particularly hard. It went all the way from about 46 all the way down through beautifully respecting the 20 day moving average, never once even touching it and putting a bottom down here in January 22 around the uh, $17 level. So that was a huge sell off for the stock, about $30, more than 50%. So we started our standard uh, our official uh, bear market right here when we violated the 200 day uh, moving average had a close below on the five day the price and the 20 day so all the confirmations were in a bear market we state we stayed in a bear market all the way up through here uh, until march of 22 where we rallied up and tested the 200 day moving average we had some violations of the 20 day so this was a market where clearly if you take the moving averages out of there you can see clearly this market was pretty much testing a price around 21 22 dollars trying to decide whether to go up or down ultimately we challenged the 200 day moving average and failed eventually and put ourselves essentially continued the bear market down below the 200 day moving average again look how beautifully it's respecting the 20 day moving average all you have to do is get short and stay short following nothing but a 20 day on um, multiple occasions on this stock, you'd have made a ton of money short. Not recommending you go short, but you can trade put options however you want to do it, or you can just look at it and marvel at it. But this was a tremendous short trade from 27 all the way down to uh, roughly the $12, $13 level. Um, again, we got the same kind of movement with this stock. This stock trades beautifully, in my opinion. It's got some gaps I don't like, but still, it's a nice trading stock. And uh, oscillating back and forth between the $16 level as a, as a, as a, medium price and above and below it for what uh, since May to July a couple months now you see this huge gap right here from from roughly twenty dollars to about seventeen dollars in a stock like this that's a fifteen percent gap that's huge and we challenged and continued to challenge straight up you see this five day moving average almost perfectly straight ridiculously good slope on a 20-day moving average especially as we're coming up to challenge a 200 day which is a, right here we would have expected to see some consolidation but we didn't it blew through it and uh, 
made plenty of closes above, came down, bounced off the 20-day, and is now rallying up. So here we are today on the 25th of August, and we're making um, not only gaps to the upside, but a new high to the upside from the short-term uh, move starting back in May. So this stock is um, really a nice trading stock. I haven't looked at plug power before, but it's a nice trading stock from a technical perspective. Whenever you have a gap like this, it's almost guaranteed it's going to fill. There are no guarantees, but it's almost guaranteed. So I would expect in a short term this stock to come back and fill this gap and probably come down probably in a test of this 20-day this, uh, moving average, probably around the 28 level. Um, if it holds that, I would expect this stock to continue up, not at the pace it's going. If it continues at the pace it's going, it's going to be parabolic and it's going to crash back down a little bit. So hopefully this stock will put in some sideways movement. Your 20 days should hopefully catch up to around the $30 level at this point, say early September, and then you'd be set up for a move maybe back to 40. All this is speculation. It's all, in my opinion, it's all for entertainment purposes only, but that's one potential uh, move for this stock, a decline down to around 28, a test, a uh, successful test of the 20-day moving average, and then a rally up approaching 40. Um, if we get a violation of the 20-day and a rollover of the uh, the five-day, confirming that a, a rollover of the five-day below the 20, we're going to test this 200-day moving average and get back down in the low 20s again. Uh, that would be also, I would say, the probability of that is probably about 30% right now. And it's probably a 70% chance that we'll get a rally. But again, this is all my opinion for entertainment purposes only. So that's where I see this stock right now. If we hold the 20-day, we may test $40. If we don't hold the 20-day moving average, we'll probably fall back down and test the 200-day moving average at around the $24 level in the first week of September. Again, my opinion only. Let's take a look and see if RBAM Research covers this stock. The ticker symbol on it is plug. And we do cover it. So today... Plug power, uh, we have one, uh, five, and 20-day holding periods on this particular set of algorithmically generated entry prices. There's no buy signal on here for plug today. That means they didn't think it was a good day to buy plug or they didn't think it was going to uh, be possible to buy plug. So this algorithm did not generate any entry signals today. But under normal circumstances, about 80% of these are full every day. Zero means there's no signals. Here today we have Tesla. These are for the 25th of uh, August, which is when this is being uh, recorded, and you can see the way this works. We have Tesla uh, buy signals here for one, five, and 20-day holding periods, um, and that's what you would normally get all through here. Today we've got quite a few zeros. The way this works is uh, the holding periods are worst case. So if you bought today, assuming your own analysis says it's a good idea, you'd hold worst case until the next the end of the next trading day and close out at a loss, or take your profit as soon as you got it. Same thing for the five. Same thing for the 20. You'd use this column buy wherever your own analysis says to do it using our number for nothing other than entertainment and um, you hold worst case 20 days uh, and take a loss if you don't get a profit before if you get the profit before you close it out at a profit as soon as you get it that's the way these algorithms work uh, these are published every morning Monday through Friday by 7 a.m. you can get them absolutely free at rbamresearch.com we cover 190 stocks including plug and uh, we cover the major Forex pairs, we cover BTC for crypto, and we cover the most liquid futures. All the stocks on this chart are longs only. Everything else has longs and shorts. And again, published every weekday morning by 7 a.m. Absolutely free, no credit card required. You can just go to rbamresearch.com and register to get them. There's a link in the description below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like more of these videos, please subscribe. If you have a great comment that can help us improve this uh, video productions we're making, please leave it in the comment section. And keep in mind, everything that you've seen and heard here is for entertainment purposes only. It's all in our uh, opinion. You definitely need to do your own analysis and never rely on our entry prices for anything other than entertainment. And you trade at your own risk.